Hi, my name is Paul Danahy. I run the business management team for the VPlex and RecoverPoint uh, businesses. And hello, uh, I'm Ashish Palekar. Uh, I'm the director of product management uh, for VPlex and RecoverPoint. Yeah, great. So we're going to talk a little bit today about the VPlex virtual edition. And I got a few questions I'm going to ask Ashish. First and foremost, Ashish, maybe get into the idea of where virtual edition came from for, as an idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what an interesting time we live in, right? Uh, there are some huge mega trends that are that are going on within the industry, and and really, virtual edition is a response to those mega trends. So, what are those? The first is sort of this uh, move towards more and more virtualization. We encounter customers who are 60, 70, 80, 95 percent virtualized, and and in those situations, uh, the customers really want something that's aligned with their VMware infrastructure. And lo and behold, uh, VPlex has some really strong use cases uh, in a VMware environment. The second uh, mega trend that we are seeing is this move towards more software-defined storage. And increasingly, what we are finding is customers who do not want to put a physical appliance uh, in, in place and, and really want to take advantage of their existing ESX infrastructure. And that's really what led us to the VPlex Virtual Edition. So probably a good next question for you then is, can you describe in brief what VPlex Virtual Edition is. Absolutely. Um, at, at a very high level, it's the same great uh, VPlex now available uh, as a V app. Uh, for the first release, it will be iSCSI only, but right off the boot, it will have the same great mobility and availability use cases that VPlex, uh, the physical edition, if you will. Maybe, yeah, so maybe for better value, maybe to describe what those use cases are for maybe people who are watching who haven't really experienced VPlex and might be interested. Absolutely. So what VPlex does is, uh, is, is about active-active storage across data centers. Uh, gives you the value of taking your uh, VMware HA or DRS clusters and being able to stretch them across data centers. Um, what that allows you to do uh, is migrate seamlessly or vMotion from one data center to another, or have automatic restart with VMware HA across, that, uh, across data centers. And the virtual edition takes those exact same great use cases and now makes it available in a VApp form factor, if you will. Yeah. So you get the capability to do a manual load balancing with vMotion or automated. automated with DRS. Sure, right? exactly. So how about management? What uh, People probably are going to be concerned that now they have another management tool they have to put in place. So what's the real answer here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is actually one of the more interesting sort of offshoots of, uh, of uh, going to the virtual edition. Because it's concentric to VMware, one of, the, one of the nifty things we've done is sort of integrate the management directly within uh, vCenter. So within your vSphere web client, um, we, we basically have a plugin, and, and for those of you that have managed vPlex, this will be really cool. Um, you now get a vPlex icon directly manageable within, uh, within vSphere. Um, you can now sort of look at the v directors within vSphere. You can create volumes, migrate volumes, do all this sort of operational things directly from your vSphere web client, right? So, end-to-end -end from your HA, vMotion, DRS, VM setup, all the way up to your uh, vPlex uh, are all within, uh, within the vSphere website. So they get the, all the benefits of the traditional vPlex Absolutely. appliance infrastructure and a software version that's managed within their traditional management Correct. processes. Correct. Which is kind of uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Presumptively, yeah. I hope. Um, how about the, where things are going? I mean, this is obviously where we're starting out from a virtualized infrastructure standpoint. Yeah. Is there anything you can maybe share that kind of gives people an idea that this is not the end of the line, but really the beginning of the yeah. line for us? Um, so uh, it's, it's really the start of some very interesting conversations that we're going to have with customers. So uh, we've already heard about customers who want to dynamically deploy VPlex Virtual Edition on the fly. Yeah. Uh, these are customers who have dynamic infrastructure needs. Uh, or even service providers who want to deploy it. And, and in some very real ways, you can start um, seeing that move towards cloud and dynamic and elastic uh, infrastructure. Um, there are some very interesting possibilities as we start, uh, start thinking about um, customers who want to take advantage of existing infrastructure. It gives them a way to go uh, down into infrastructure that they might not have thought need mobility or availability and, and start to think about it. So, all in all, uh, it's, a, it's a move in, in a radically different direction. And uh, needless to say, uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what happens. So radically different in a sense, but also radically the same. same Even exactly. though VPlex is per se radically unique in the yeah. market space, the active-active capability and yeah. everything, 
what we're bringing to the table fundamentally is a virtualized version Correct. of that radically unique technology. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else that I haven't asked, Ashish? Anything come to mind that? No, I think I think really looking forward to seeing this uh, go get into the hands of customers and and see what comes out of it. Um, we are excited. Yeah, we are. So great. Thanks, Ashish. Thanks. Good talking to you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.